Uh, hello, my name is Nathan Wilhelm. I'm a cash crop product specialist for Case IH. I travel Wisconsin and Northern Illinois, and today I'm at Berkey's in Hoopston. In this video, you will learn the features of the multifunction handle on Steiger and Magnum tractors. The most basic function is a throttle. So we have throttle, just by moving it back and forth, we control engine speed. We also have power shift, so the rabbit and the turtle is going to shift the tractor up and down through the gears. The rabbit shifts up, the turtle shifts down. Next on the multifunction handle, we have these two triangular shaped buttons, and these actually control the shuttle shift. And you can shuttle shift, shift forward to reverse on the tractor without clutching, without stopping, using just the buttons on this handle. There is a safety built into these buttons, and in order to get them to function, you have to hold the button down on the front of the handle and then press these buttons to shuttle shift. So as you're operating, you can be driving forward, push the button down on the front of the handle, and then hit reverse. The tractor will slow down, stop, shift to reverse, and automatically start moving in reverse um, all by itself. Next on the multifunction handle, we have these two buttons right here for three-point hitch control. They look like a, a three-point hitch arm. The top button is raise and the bottom button is lower. These are quick raise and lower. So as an operator, what you do is you use your position control knob here to set your depth of your implement. You put your implement down on the ground, set your working depth right here with this knob, and you leave this knob right where it's set at. Then when you get to the end of the field, when you're gonna make your turnaround, hit the raise button. This will bring your three-point hitch all the way up. And then when you're back, ready to drop your implement back in the ground, hit the lower button, and it will take your implement right to where this knob is set. Next on the multifunction handle, we have these two buttons for uh, controlling uh, one remote valve. Now, the valve that this controls depends on how many valves you have on your tractor. If you have four valves on your tractor, then these buttons will control valves valve number one. If you have five valves on your tractor, these buttons will control remote valve number five. The top button will be your extend and, or raise, and the bottom button would be your retract or lower. So as an operator, when you get to the end of the field and you're ready to raise your implement, you can simply press this button and it will raise your implement up. Press the lower and it will put your implement back in the ground. If you do want to have a float function with this valve, holding the button on the front of the handle down when you hit lower will put the valve in the float. Also with these buttons for the remote valves, we can set them up to work with the timers or we can have a manual function. In manual function, you hold the button down while the implement is raising. When you let go, it stops. To lower, you hold the button in until your implement is all the way down. You let go and it stops. If you set up your timers for your remote valves, you can simply press the button, release it, and the valve will continue to run automatically and bring your implement all the way up to the all the way up. And once it's fully raised, it'll automatically shut itself off. Same with lower. When you're ready to drop your implement, just press release the button. It'll drop your implement into the ground. And once it's down, the timers will shut off and your valve will automatically shut off.